Oh my goodness, you are not going to believe this. All right, Bolo Buddies, it is time for a reseller vlog. I am going to tell you what sold. I am going to give you some shipping tips to include some um, inexpensive but really nice poly mailers that I'm going to start using. So stay tuned for that. And we're going to get started here. All right, Bolo Buddies, this first item is in tote in. And I got this at the Goodwill for $3. It is, turn it on a light. <laughs> It is incomplete and I it's a tea set and I'm gonna show it to you here if I can find tote in. And where is tote in? Ah Tote in, you used to be over here. Where are you, Tote in? Oh ho, ho, ho Tote in is all the way over here. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking for a tea set. And I'm guessing I probably have it already pre-packaged. I'm kind of hoping. Elephant tea set. Bam! There it is. This sold for $19 and some change. And the buyer paid shipping. And I will pop up a screenshot of exactly what this looks like. And I paid $3 at the Goodwill for this. So this is made in Japan. That is one thing that I look for. If it says made in Japan on the bottom and it's ceramic or something like that. I usually pick it up if the price is right. I Did I just say if the price is right? <laughs> it makes me think of the TV show and the price is right. I don't think I said that right. That was a horrible impersonation, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Right? The price is right. I just love, love, love the old look of it. And I'm just drawn to it. So if it's made in Japan, I'm probably picking it up if the price is right. So this is my elephant tea set. I've got like one thing of bubble wrap on it. This is the old bubble wrap I used before I got American Bubble Boy. So I definitely need to reinforce this with better bubble wrap. Um, the bubble wrap I used to use was very thin and not very good. So I'm going to bubble wrap these up extra and then I'm going to find a nice box to put them in. So I have this in a 10 by 8 by 6 box. I'm going to put them each in there all bubble wrapped and then I'm going to put some paper on the top just to kind of fill in the void. All right, Bolo Buddies, I have a new thing for you guys to try, and you're going to get 10% off with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies. And guess what? I can't say the name of the company. It's perfect for me. Here it is. This is what it's called. Um, Gyro Pack? Gyro Pack? I don't know, but... All right, Bolo Buddies, I stand corrected. I just spoke with, well, I got a text message from Seems So Vintage, who also made me this incredible owl, and she said it is pronounced Hyro Pack. <laughs> so if she is correct, I really said it wrong. You can find Seems So Vintage over on Whatnot. Check her out. She has amazing items. I will link her down below. And they sent me some free products because they reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to be an affiliate? And I said, I've never used your products. So they said, hey, let us send you some. So they sent me some and I'm going to show you guys a comparison to some other things that I have purchased and I'm going to use them. I think they're great. So let me know what you guys think. You get 10% off if you use Coupon referral code BOLO Buddies. I'll put the link down below. You guys can click on that and check out what they got. All right, so here is what they sent me. They sent me this awesome color. And you know, my first thought was, I wanna look at the quality of the bubbles. Well, I push on it and I'm like, well, they don't pop. And then I thought, do any of them pop? I've really never examined my poly mailers with bubbles in them. <laughs> so here is just an off brand that I buy. And you can tell right away that the quality of this is much thinner than the quality of the brand that I just told you guys about. I'm not sure how to say it. That's awful. But um, this is much stronger than the ones that I've been buying. And if I look inside, it's the same thing. I mean, you can't push down and pop them. They don't really pop. They're really not made to pop. It's not like bubble wrap where, oh, it's fun and you can pop them, right? This is an eBay um, mailer. And again, 
I was like, I'm going to check the eBay because eBay, you guys know, they have really nice bubble mailers, but they're pricey. Um, and if I push, it's the same thing. Like they don't, they don't actually pop and you guys can check yours because you know, you kind of think, oh, they're going to pop. And I would compare the quality, like this is eBay. Um, that's the little tab. I just pushed my finger through. These are nice and thick. These are the ones I bought on eBay that are not eBay brand. And when I push on those, they just seem thinner. And then this is the mailers that I just got sent. And they have a thicker, nicer um, quality to them, actually. And I'm pretty impressed. So let's look at this size. And again, you know, nice quality. And they also sent me this size, which I use these on... Um, what not all the time. So I'm super excited about that. And I love the colors and the prices do not change if you get colors. So that is awesome. And these are a great size for jewelry and different things like that. But uh, I would compare the quality and say that these are really nice. And the thickness here, these are not going to tear. They're like, I'm putting some force into this and it is not ripping at the seam. There it is. Now, here are the um, Daisy. They sent me one of these as well. Now, I will show you this. I've had these for a long time, but one problem I have, I can't remember what brand this is, but I bought it on eBay like years and years ago. But one problem I have is they always tear. These, I, I was never ever happy with the quality. And you can see right here, like I'm just, like I go like that and sometimes when I fold them over, they just rip. So this brand, I don't remember. It was just something I bought on eBay. I was never happy with it because it was just not great. So let's see how this compares. And I'm gonna try to tear it. So the other one just came apart. You can see this one is stretching a little bit, but I'm really putting some force into it. So I'm gonna say um, the quality of these are a lot better than what I had ordered on eBay, not through eBay, but on eBay. So yeah, so I would say overall, definitely happy with the quality, happy with the pricing in comparison to other things I've bought. Most cases, they are cheaper on this website. Plus you get 10% off with my referral code and um, yeah, I will link that down below so you guys can definitely use that if you want to check it out. But more excitingly for me, I get these beautiful colors. Look at this blue and purple and teal and the daisies. So you guys can uh, definitely check out the website and see if anything interests you. And you can use my coupon referral code. Thanks so much. All right, Bola Buddies. So this is where I am going to be getting my poly mailers and bubble mailers from. And it is gyro pack. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> but anyway, you can get 10% off your order. But here's what I want to show you. They have the coolest bubble mailers and poly mailers. Here are the different sizes of the bubble mailers. And here are the different sizes of the poly mailers. Now let's look at the bubble mailers first. Four by eight is great for whatnot. This size is awesome, but what I love is they have all of these amazing colors. Love it, love it, love it. Um, let's look at this one right here. And what I want to show you is for um, a 50 pack, let's do um, a hundred pack because that's typically what I would order. $17.99. Um, black, purple, orange, teal. The price does not change. It's still $17.99. A lot of times when you start adding color, the prices change. $200 you get for $25.99, $53.99 for $500. I don't know about you, but I like to buy in bulk. Um, I have a tendency to use a lot of packaging materials. Here is the 6x10. So again, you're going to see lots of variety in colors. Let's click on that. And you have 25 pack, 50 pack, 100 pack. So 100 pack is $27.99. Again, the price does not change if you go upgrade to a color. I love it. I love this one. It's Bolo Buddies Blue. All right, let's see what else they have. They go up to 10 and a half by 16. 
Let's see how much those are. 10 and a half by 16 for a hundred pack is $39.99 and the price does not change. Now they also have regular poly mailers. So 24 by 24 is as big as they get. They have 19 by 24, 14 and a half by 19. So let's go with uh, the smallest is six by nine. And it looks like they're pretty much sold out of the white except for the thousand pack, but you can get a thousand for $32.99. That seems like a deal. Three cents each. Is that right? Is that what that means? I'm guessing that's what that means. Let's look at the nine by 12. Let's click on this. It looks like they have two colors, white and pink. 200 pack is $20.99. 500 pack is $35.99. And 1,000 pack is $51.99. And again, the price does not change if you choose a color. They also have gift bags and uh, gift boxes if you guys are interested in things like that for your business. Uh, looky here, little jewelry boxes, guys. So I haven't really looked at this part of the website. I was really just focusing on buying poly mailers and regular bubble mailers, but some of these may come in to benefit, especially if you sell jewelry on whatnot and you want to put your items in boxes. Some people like to get fancy. And that's great. I get stuff in jewelry boxes like this all the time. So this may be a great choice for you. If you um, sell on whatnot, or even if you sell on eBay or Poshmark and you just want that little extra fancy. So you can check those out as well. Speaking of whatnot, I'm sitting here enjoying my coffee <laughs> with my Bolo Buddy sign and my cute little owls. Oh, that one fell over. That's the vintage one my husband picked up for me. And then we've got the one from Seem So Vintage. You guys, she made that with her hands. How cool is that? I'm gonna have to show you guys the owl purse I ordered from her. Oh my goodness, it's incredible. I got it from her whatnot. She is so crafty. She's incredible, check her out. All right, are you ready? I just wanna say thank you. And I'm gonna do that right now big shout out to everybody that came and supported my whatnot show the bling show i've got 29 packages going out 104 items and i preloaded the show if you want to know more about preloading definitely check out this video right here uh what did i find out if i preload i can do over 100 items in two and a half hours so that was fantastic and again, thank you all so much for your support. I appreciate it. If you would like to follow me on Whatnot and come to one of my auctions, all of these items started at $5 or less. And you can use my referral link down below. You'll get $15 to shop when you use that link. And if you want to sell on Whatnot, there's also a referral link for that down below as well. I do have some scheduled shows coming up. And if you check out this video right here, it will show you some of the items that are coming soon. All right, you guys, thank you so much. And let's keep showing you what I sold. All right, so there's a little bit of a funny story to the next one. I thought that it was a garter belt. <laughs> well, apparently it's a blindfold. I don't know. I, I'm gonna pop it up right here. It sold for $4.64. It is made by Kasik. You can find these items on the Lane Bryant website. They make bras and lingerie and things like that. I picked these up in bulk at a discount store, probably had a dollar or less in it. And I had it listed as a garter belt for, is that what I cut it? No, maybe not a garter belt, a garter. I don't know. I had it listed as something and somebody's like, that's a blindfold. So I added the keyword blindfold to my title. This has been a very long tail item. It sells here and there, not very often. I have a whole bunch of them but I sold one, so I'll take the win, right? And they will just be multi-quantity and keep on selling, but kind of hilarious that I didn't even know what it was. All right, so here they are. Um, here's the brand. It is Kasik. This is a great brand to pick up. I love selling their brawls. Anytime I find their brawls, I buy them. They are good sellers. So I guess, let me just show you. Come over here. This is what it looks like. And apparently, you know, I thought you tied it around your leg, you know, like under a dress or something like that. But apparently, like for a wedding, but this one's black. A, a lot of women do that, I think, for their weddings. They wear like a one that matches their dress. So that's what I thought it was. But apparently, it's a blindfold. But it's not really a blindfold because it's lace and you can see through it. So I have no idea what this is, but somebody bought it. 
for $4.64 plus shipping. What do you guys think it is? What do you think it is? Money? Yes, I know it's money, but besides money. All right, the next item I sold is a plush, but not just any plush. I always pick up these plush. This one, however, unfortunately does not work. And I still sold it for $15.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And it is a stocking. Some of them sing and talk and their mouths move. And different things like that. And it's stuck in the bag. It's a moose. It's a plush moose. And look how cute it is. Look how cute it is. So he is supposed to do something. I forget. I think there's a box in it, but it doesn't work. Here's the tag. It is vintage, I do believe. But yeah, if you see these stockings, definitely pick them up. The sound machine, I think, is back here. But I couldn't get it to work. So in the title, as you can see, I put does not work. But this is still, even not working, a great stocking, you know, for somebody who likes to have a moose as their stocking. Is it a moose or is it a reindeer? I think it's a moose. Anyway, $15.50 plus shipping. For some reason, I did not write down where I got it or what I paid for it. So I apologize, but I just don't know. So a lot of times I mentioned taking bubble wrap and putting it over the eyes to protect them. In this situation, I'm just gonna cover them with the actual stocking to protect it. We are going to ship this guy right here and guess what? We're gonna put him in one of the new bubble mailers. You can see I've got it stuffed down into the poly mailer. This poly mailer is a little bit too big, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I was able to fold this over more and right here in this area is where the eyes are. So everything is going to have some extra padding there. And do you not love this color? Ooh, it's so great. The next item sold on, oh, where did it sell? That's not it. That's Express. It sold on Poshmark, I think for $19. And it's these pants right here and they have been listed forever. They're a size 30, and you see where it says UF for seam? That means unfinished. This is what unfinished looks like. These typically have a very long inseam, probably for taller people, and then you hem them to the size you want them to be. So if you ever see UF, and this Castaway brand is known for having um, unfinished hems, so anyway, took a long, long time to sell, but they finally sold for $19, buyer paid shipping, and these sold faster on Poshmark. And I always tell you guys, more items on different platforms, you're going to sell more things because there's different people buying on different platforms. Um, I use List Perfectly to cross post. There's a link down below that will show you a video link that'll show you how to cross post on List Perfectly. And then if you're interested, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLA Buddies. So definitely check that out. All right, so here are the earnings for the Castaway Pants. It looks like I sold them for 19. I did send out an offer. So when you send out an offer, you have to offer discounted shipping. So 202 came out for that and 380 was the Poshmark fee. So my earnings on these was $13.18 and I paid less than three dollars for them at a um i think it was a gabriel brothers a discount store and one thing that i love about poshmark is i can ship it in a padded flat rate envelope just slap the label on it poshmark sends me the label super easy done and um five pounds or less uh it's one shipping price on poshmark another great reason to get on poshmark I love shipping like board games and heavier items that are five pounds or less because it's cheaper to ship them over on Poshmark. And there is a link down below. If you want to join Poshmark, you can get $10 to shop with my referral link. If you want to join Mercari, you can get $10 to shop and then another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And both of those referral links are down below in the description. All right, I'm going to show you what else I sold. Okay, the next item is in tote seven. Like the bottom numbers are in great order. You move to the top and we start getting mixed up. We go from 28 to 42 to 16. <laughs> yeah, that makes it a little difficult. Um, but I slide my totes, so sometimes they get disorganized. But this one is right where it's supposed to be. Now, let's see if the item is right where it's supposed to be. It sure is. 
flower scented doll. I picked this up at the Goodwill bins and she is adorable. She is vintage and there's something in here with her. So we don't want to take that. It's a fruit scoop. Anybody need a fruit scoop? That is available in my eBay store. And there she is. She's adorable. And Goodwill bins, guys. New old stock from the Goodwill bins. Sweetie Orchard. Orchard? Orchard? <laughs> hey, I just needed to give you some laughs today. I had to mispronounce something. Her hat's falling off. I sold her for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So this weighs like nothing. So probably less than a dollar at the Goodwill bins. Here's the doll. And this is one thing that is really difficult for me to ship because I can never seem to find the right box. But because it doesn't have any plastic packaging over it, I am going to wrap it in paper just to protect it from getting scuffs. And now I'm going to figure out how I'm going to ship this. So I went ahead and wrapped it in some bubble wrap. This box is way too big. It's a Walmart box. So, um, but it fits. And if it wobbles around, it's not going to get hurt. So I'm just going to put it in an oversized box that'll still ship ground shipping. These stickers from eBay with my coupon and... These are great for putting on like Walmart or any other boxes that you have that are not eBay branded. Okay, so this next item I just got recently. I had a garage sale video. It was one of those where it was like, I went to these garage sales and I found all these bolos. Well, I sold another item from that haul. Super quick sale, $37.50. It is an untested item. And the buyer paid shipping. I'm gonna show you what it is. We're here in tote 35. And it is this Polaroid camera. I don't pick up a lot of cameras, but this one was cheap. So I said, you know what? I'm going to try it. And it sold really, really fast, untested. Now, I did open it and it did kind of do this sound. So I think it probably works, but I can't confirm that without having an actual... Uh, film for it. So I put a video, I showed what I could show and it sold fast. So I'm hoping that this is a win for the buyer. So this is the camera and this is, I think a 10 by eight by six box. You're going to see it's going to fit perfectly in here. I have bubble wrapped it like crazy just to protect it. This is American bubble boy bubble wrap. Love it. And I do have a affiliate link down below. If you click on that, I do get credit. So even if you already are on American Bubble Boy, if you come and use my link first, I do get credit for that and I greatly appreciate it. So if it's time to stock up, uh, please use my link down below. Um, all uh, Every little bit helps and again, I appreciate it very much. Um, American Bubble Boy also has great, great, these tubes in the center are great for shipping. I did a short, hashtag short video on these. I stuck a Barbie doll in this and it will protect it. So save these, if you use American Bubble Boy, save these middle center rolls for shipping. All right, Bolo Buddies, can you guess what is inside of this tube? So this is the middle of my bubble wrap. It's a bubble wrap tube. And these are great for shipping. This one is really thick and sturdy and great for protecting items during shipment. I sold this on Whatnot. If you're not following me on Whatnot, there is a referral link down below. You will get $15 to shop. I'm Bolo Buddies over there and I sell a little bit of everything. I'm having a jewelry show today. This is a vintage Barbie. Actually, it's a clone, not a Barbie, it's a clone. And this will protect it during shipment. So keep those uh, rolls from your bubble wrap and use them to ship. Thanks for watching. All right, so if you don't know, you can order these from USPS.com. Uh, they are free. They are rolls of priority mail uh, stickers. So if you have a box that is not priority mail and you wanna make it priority mail, this is a great option. And these are free. You get a whole roll. I think there's a thousand on a roll. So this is not a priority mail box. It's just one of mine. And I'm gonna slap that on there. And that now helps the... Uh, post office identify that this item is indeed a priority mailbox so it doesn't get lost with like the ground. I just checked this I purchased for two bucks. I couldn't remember if it was two or three. So two dollars into $37.20. Buyer was all in for $55.11. And I am the first purchase on eBay from this seller. They now have one feedback from me. 
Um, I do have my feedback set up to automatically leave feedback once the buyer pays. So you can set that up to have automated feedback. It's fantastic because you don't have to think about leaving your buyer feedback. It just automatically does it. All right, so this next item I picked up at a garage sale for $3 and I had a pretty good feeling that it was gonna be a fast sale. And it was, I sold it for $38 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, I'm over here on tote 35 and I am looking, check out the Muppet Show. I am looking for some cars trying to think of what they're called. I don't know if I put them in a box. Here they are. They are these cars right here. Uh, Bob the Builder. Anytime you find Bob the Builder, pick it up. It's kind of one of those that, I don't want to say it wasn't mass produced, but it wasn't mass produced in large, large quantities because I don't find it very much. And if it was mass produced in large quantities, you'd find it everywhere all the time and you don't. So these sold really, really quickly for $38 and the buyer paid shipping. Oh my goodness, you are not going to believe this. So, um, literally, I was just in that tote and I said, look at this Muppets lunchbox. Well, I went to take a picture of that to pop up a screenshot for this video. And I had an offer for $55 for the Muppets lunchbox. I think I paid two bucks for it or something like that at a garage sale. And I'll pop up the screenshot of it right here. So just waiting on the buyer to pay. And then that lunchbox is going out also. These are all newly listed items. So that's kind of exciting. So I did double check. I did pay $2 for it. And it is uh, the Muppet Show. And it is dated 1978. So um, it does not have the thermos. And $55 buyer paid shipping. So here is an item that I sold on Whatnot Marketplace. That means they did not come to my live show. They found me organically through Whatnot and purchased this item. I sold this for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. I'm gonna ship this Whatnot order in my new poly mailer. I love it, it's purple and it's gonna slide right in and fit perfectly, so fantastic. All right, Bolo Buddies, I had to come get my owl purse. I absolutely love it. Is this not the cutest thing? Look at these little owls and look how detailed everything is. Again, seems so vintage made this and she sent me this adorable little owl. So this is a great thing that you can do with brooches. You can put them on your purse and I just adore this. I don't think she has any others available right now, but you could maybe get a custom order. I'm going to take you over to her whatnot and show you some of her other handmade items. She is absolutely incredible. Okay, so here she is on whatnot. Seems so vintage. Here are some of her handmade items. She also sells on whatnot. She does live shows. She sells everything from crafts to jewelry. So be sure to give her a follow. Use that link down below. Get $15 to shop. That's my referral link. And you can use that with her. All right, Bolo Buddy. So I recently had my preloaded Christmas show, which went incredible. Thank you to all that came out. I am going to show you how I organize my shipments for whatnot. I sold 104 items during this show. It took me two hours because everything was preloaded. I did sudden death. What does sudden death mean? It means that the clock stops at 15 seconds. It does not continue to add time. So um, that's what I decided to do for the Christmas show. And two hours, 104 items. Now, a few of those items came from my Buy It Now. If you don't know, I think it's really important to have items in your Buy It Now because when people are at your live show, they can order from the Buy It Now and get the discounted shipping. So they will search your Buy It Now items. So let's take a look at some of the items I sold. I'm going to show you how I lay it out when I have a whatnot show, how I organize, and how I ship. All right? It's a lot to ship. 104 items in two hours. If you're thinking about selling on whatnot, grab that link down below. And it is going to tell whatnot that I sent you and it's a referral link. So they're bas it basically says that I referred you. Okay, so check that out. And this little owl is making me crazy. He needs to sit up. Look how cool it is. My husband got this at a flea market and it is totally vintage. And I just adore it. He's like, I got you an owl. This has been like probably a couple years ago. And I'm just like, that is the coolest owl. But speaking of seems so vintage, she also made me this owl. You guys, this is all I think I think they call it crocheted or hand knitted. I don't 
know, but look how awesome it is. She is incredible. I love it. I love it. I love it. So anyway, back to talking about whatnot. Uh, that's my little owl collection and it says subscribe. So if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. All right, let's go look at these whatnot orders and how I organize. Okay, so these are all vintage Christmas items. It doesn't look like a lot, right? There are over a hundred items there. I do have to still pull my buy it now items that sold. But what I'm going to do is these are all numbered one through a hundred. I am going to organize them and I will show you that as soon as I get them laid out. All right, you guys, this was a sold out show. Every single item that I preloaded sold. So the first row is one through 10. And then we do the 10s, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s here. So when I go to grab and pull for my shipping, everything is really easy to find. All of my items have numbers on them. If you want to learn more about that, you can go to my beginner's guide for selling on whatnot and also my how to ship on whatnot. I'm not going to go into all of the shipping, but preloading for the win. I'm loving it, you guys. It takes a long time on the front end to preload the items. I keep it simple. I have a video on preloading to whatnot. You can search that. I talked about it earlier in the video. I will link these videos down in the description. What I will say is you spend less time live and you sell more because everything is ready to go. So do I recommend preloading? Yes. Do I also recommend mixing it up and selling things just through um, grab and sell? Yes. I think it is very, very important to keep it interesting for your buyers, have good items so that they come back and always, always, always disclose the condition because you do not want people to get things and be disappointed. There's times where I'm like, oh, this item's messed up. It's got this problem. It has this problem. And sometimes I'll start that item at a dollar and somebody still wants it. Number one, because they're going to fix it. Number two, because they craft. There are so many reasons why people will buy damaged items. So, my preloaded shows are mostly items that are ready to go, ready to sell, might need a little cleaning. I do not clean anything. I tell you guys that all the time. I don't have time for that. Um, and most of the items I am selling are starting at $5 or less. And it is all auction style. I have my Buy It Now stuffed with over 200 items. I think I sell stuff from my Buy It Now every show. So if you're selling on whatnot, stock up your buy it now, especially right now, people are buying things for Christmas, all right? They're looking for Christmas gifts. I've got Squishmallows in there. I've got Legos in there. I have all kinds of things. So definitely go to my whatnot and check out my buy it now. And I know I mentioned it before, but there is a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop if you use that to join whatnot. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And I wanna tell you, that I'm really, really leaning towards cross-posting some of my vintage plush, some of my vintage items. Um, I'm really thinking, I just keep hearing about Etsy and how good people are doing over there, and I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Do you think I should get back on Etsy? Let me know down in the comments. If you're selling on Etsy, let me know, are you having success? I feel like it's one of those platforms where you can get more money for your item because again, different buyers on different platforms. And that is why I love List Perfectly. Check out that video down below on List Perfectly, how to cross post, and you can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with referral coupon code BOLO BUDDIES. Lots of BOLO BUDDIES referral links down in that description. You guys can save money using those links. Also, a special thank you to Hyro Pack. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say it. Do you guys agree with Seems So Vintage? I'm going to go with that because she's a smart lady. But anyway, thank you to Hyro Pack for sending me the poly mailers so that I could show them to you guys. That link is down below to get 10% off those awesome poly mailers in the great colors. Oh my goodness, which color are you going to get? That's my referral link, 10% off. You can use that anytime, whenever, every order, Bolo Buddies code Bolo Buddies to get 10% off your order from Hyro Pack. <laughs> that link's down below. And again, I appreciate all of you and I'll see you at the next one.
check it out. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And I do appreciate it when you guys use those referral links. It costs you nothing and it helps me and I appreciate it so, so much. All right, you guys, I hope to see you on Whatnot and thanks for watching.